faces theft and racketeering charges again. This comes two years after a judge dismissed the original charges. Now, you might remember Ray Marshall. He was accused of stealing more than a million dollars in grants and city money back in 2012. That money was supposed to be for the U.S. Olympic Committee. KRDO News Channel 13's Dana Molina is live in downtown Colorado Springs. Dana explains why the charges are back on the table. Yeah, Rob, Rana, it all has to do with Marshall's history in the courtroom. In 2009, Marshall faced theft and fraud charges. Shortly before his trial was set to begin, prosecutors discovered more possible wrongdoing. They accused him of stealing more than a million dollars in grants and city money. But Marshall asked for these new charges to be tried in a separate case, and a judge agreed. A jury decided Marshall wasn't guilty in the 2009 case. Then, Marshall asked asked for the new charges to be dropped, saying they should have been joined with the first case. The Court of Appeals says he shouldn't have been allowed to do that. Now the 4th Judicial District Attorney's Office will prepare for trial. The case has basically been in suspended animation, I think. Um, our, you know, we have all our evidence together, and um, I don't think, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just go forward as though this two years had never um, you know, been taken out of the, or taken the case out of the, the district court's jurisdiction. And Marshall faces six theft and racketeering charges. Coming up at six, we'll tell you about his history in the courtroom and how the U.S. Olympic Committee is involved. Live in Colorado Springs, Dana Molina, KRDO News Channel 13.